Today, I'm giving you three of my favorite tips on the kettlebell snatch, specifically the drop. For my top three tips for snatching the bell up, check out part one of this snatch mini series at the link below. Let's do this. Tip number one is to rip the bell down. Don't flip it up and out. A common problem with the snatch drop is people initiate the drop by flipping the bell up and away from them. This is called casting and it just causes an inefficient snatch and a big arc. Instead of flipping the bell up and away, quickly rip the bell down, leading the movement with your elbow like this. The elbow should travel straight down and you wanna maintain a mostly vertical forearm. So don't let that elbow flare out. You wanna come straight down as best you can like that. To recap, don't flip the bell away on the drop. Instead, rip it down, leading the movement with your elbow. Tip number two, use the deep grip. Using a deep grip is essential, especially when snatching heavy. If the handle of a heavy bell is in your fingertips and not deep in your palm, your grip is gonna tire out really quickly and the bell could even go flying. Here's how you set up for the deep grip. First, you're gonna need to chalk up. You wanna get plenty of chalk on your hands and you wanna cover the palm of your hand because that's where the handle's gonna go. Then set up for your snatch with the handle deep in the palm of your hand, as deep as you can get it. Your wrist should be bent or goosenecked like this before you snatch. Maintain the deep grip on the way up and on the drop of the snatch. Make sure the bell handle stays here deep in your palm and on the drop, don't let the bell handle hop into your fingertips or migrate into your fingertips. Tip number three is a visualization, which is to throw the bell into your stomach. On the drop, imagine throwing the kettlebell through your stomach. This helps tame the arc and it keeps the bell close. It also prevents the bell from going too low on the backswing, which helps us avoid arm yanking. To practice all these tips, first work on just the drop. Clean and press the bell up. At the top, make sure the handle is deep in your palm. Rip the bell down, throw it through your stomach, park it, and repeat. Once you've mastered the drop, then you can move on to doing sets of continuous snatches. That's it for today. If these tips helped your snatch drop, please give this video a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to watch part one where we covered my favorite tips for snatching the bell up. For more snatch tips and swing tips so you can really own these kettlebell ballistics, check out the links below. See you next week for more kettlebell tips Actually, next week, I think we're making Vietnamese chicken curry. So we'll see you in the kitchen for that one.